Yeah, around um, the early 90s, I was in like a hardcore psychedelic metal band called Acid Bath. It kind of got a cult following to a degree. And then there was another project that's more like Dead Boy, but not really. Just more like Dead Boy in the way that, you know, I was writing the songs. And um, it was called Agents of Oblivion. And then um, there were a couple of different versions of Dead Boy and the Elephant Men before this, kind of just trying to figure out what the sound needed to be to accompany the songs. Well, I first picked up uh, a pair of sticks when I was uh, working at SIR Studios in New York. Um, I had worked there for like a year and a half, and the last like three months that I was there, um, I just became increasingly interested. Um, there was always a kit set up in the room, and on my break I'd go in when I when I could, and um, I don't know, different people would come in and kind of write down little notes and like homework, like one lines, like you got to learn this, and then I'd go in like the next day, and I don't, I'd have to be able to play it for him. So it was kind of like, yeah, I don't know, really encouraged by a lot of those people that work there. This June will actually be two years that I've that I've been playing. Like, from the time I was like basically like 13 years old I've like you know quit school and like went to Florida and went all you know wherever just to play music it's never been like a question of anything but that you know so it's like I've you know I've been on the highway so to speak you know like kind of motherless you know fatherless and I think we have that kind of in common. I was adopted and didn't meet my natural parents until much later, didn't really know about them, um, so just always kind of felt, I don't know, like a loner, I guess, or uh, on my own. We're from New Orleans, but I mean, we have a lot of people there that are into it, but we, we've kind of been outcast by, you know, the free magazines and, you know, all that kind of stuff there, so it's it's kind of weird. It's like kind of a little click, you know, where it's like. I I I don't know. I personally kind of feel part of it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can understand me. that, that that side as well. But um, I mean, to some degree, I think that is true. But um, I don't know. On the other hand, I, I don't know. I feel I feel really strongly tied to that environment and. Yeah, I don't know. has has something to do with the way that I play. I think. I love that city. You know, it's like haunted and ancient and beautiful, and it's really heartbreaking to go there and like to see just the fucked up shit that's going on there, like piles of bricks in the fucking middle of the road, and like next to like a mansion, you know, it's like this weird, it seems like what I would think of like, like Europe or something, like after like the Blitzkrieg, you know, like it's, and there's a spiritual weirdness there, like, you know, like a need to medicate yourself. <laughs> there's like a million stories, you know, and they're like Holocaust survivors.